Good morning and welcome to Wales, where we're here at Oakwood Theme Park for the Welsh Weekend with the European Coaster Club. Yesterday we had a fantastic time at Folly Farm, a brilliant day there with the club. Went round, saw all the different animals, did all the different fairground, heritage rides, what they've got, and so much more. So make sure you check out the vlog if you've not seen it. If you have watched that, you already know that we've actually been camping here at Oakwood for three nights this year, record. We normally do one night, uh, but the event does span from the Thursday through to the Sunday. And uh, yeah, we just camped over for the second night last night. And to be honest, I'm feeling quite fresh. We a little bit of rain this morning and I thought oh we're gonna be in for a wet one today here at Oakwood however the sun is just peeking through quite a nice temperature we got highs of about 22 23 perfect for doing some rides here at Oakwood it's early morning as you can see over there megaphobia uh, it's just going round. it's actually testing on two trains this morning and um, so hopefully uh, that's a good sign we should have it running on two trains tonight for the ERS of course being with the coaster club means that tonight we're gonna to get megaphobia for an hour in the dark uh, we've also just had some time on dizzy disc uh, which is the new ride for this year it's a disco and uh, yeah we'll have a little look over there and take you on board um, like all the other rides we can do here as well of course with Oakwood if you've got a chest mounted GoPro you can go to guest services and get permission to use it uh, they'll give you like a little slip and you just show that on the rides but yeah in terms of the event it's after dark here at Oakwood uh, it runs throughout the summer there's fireworks tonight the park's open from 10 a.m. until 10 p.m. and uh, yeah loads to see and do lots and lots of people here as well uh, loads of friends to come and see and just genuinely uh, just have a really nice atmosphere here at the park you know me I love Oakwood uh, it's nice that you sort of drive here in the middle of nowhere and you come around here Megaphobia's just open so I'm gonna go down there and join the guys but you come here you know and camping over it's all part of it isn't it uh, last night with the club they had like a massive bonfire and now uh, oh, it was wonderful it's really got that nice feel to it you also notice just as well it's just gone off I think it's re-looping uh, well, here we go there's all new audio around the park like they've really gone down the themed route um, which is good um, so yeah, it's all been done by uh, Mr. Nick Hudson, I think, who does theme park audio, who is also here. So we'll have to catch up with him at some point. Uh, but here we go. Welcome to Oakwood here in Wales for our annual visit. And uh, yeah, here with the Welsh Weekender. And I can see a wild Mr. Lee Wood just up here. Choo -choo. Oh, here we go. I can hear the choo-choos. I think you know who's behind me. Here we go. First ride of the day on Megaphobia, of course. She's got 12 hours to warm up before the RS tonight. Here we are. There's Heather over there. Heather and Louise, Richard's in front here as well, Stuart, everyone's here. Got some random bloke next to it, don't, don't know who he is here. He, he's appeared before, you might have seen him. He's, he's been a couple of bits before, he just, he just randomly appeared, don't you? Randomly, don't know who he is, he follows me. <laughs> Oi. Oh, lovely, yeah, so we were told we were gonna stop on the lift hill. For, yeah. no. Look at this was planned, they said we're gonna stop here for a few seconds because it is running two trains, there we go. That was good, wasn't it? Worth having the GoPro for that. Great to see it running two trains though. Mid-train ride, didn't go for the front, didn't go for the back for the first one. It's late. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Oh, it's wild. Lovely! There we go, get some air time! Way! Woo! Oh. <laughs> Look at Rich! Woo! Oh! Ah, oh, this is a beauty! <laughs> Look at him go! <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. oh, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> awesome. I 
I'll tell you what, that ride just was that good. I've come around again, but I'm sat next to someone else this time. I've got the one, the only. You've not seen him on this channel for a while, actually. It's Mr. Andy Rumney of South Coast hey. Crazy. Here he is. Right. It's been a long time, Andy. Yeah. We've got a bit of vlog on vlog here. We've both got our chest mounts on. It feels like we're riding Boulder again. Oh, I know. And we're going to stop on the left. You ready for a bit of a jolt? Yeah. Well, it's good to see it on two trains, isn't it? Two trains, right. amazing, yeah. Happy days. I've never seen it with two trains. Oh, before. no. Just... Here we go. Oh, and... oh, oh, I love it. Little exclusive for you. <laughs> but I'm just going to spin the camera around so you have a look backwards. Uh, up there at Bluestone, which is the big resort next to it. They've built that massive tent structure. And it looks like it's got like a few different attractions underneath. Like, like the Eden Yeah, like, I think maybe there's like a mini golf and stuff. That's at the top, though. That's this another one. Yeah, yeah, the swimming tent. There's that one at the top, Lord. Oh, God. Oh, blimey. Brutal. Oh, it's that good. That was cracking, that was. Oh! Oh! I tell you what, this is gonna be running wild tonight. 12 hours to warm this baby up. Woo! Oh! Oh! God! It's brutal, but we love it. Yeah. Oh. Woo. Raise yourself. Oh. Oh. I tell you what, that train was running a lot better than the other one. That that's the best ride I've had on it. That. Yeah, that was. That, oh yeah, that, that was brilliant. That. Look at this. Camera on camera, vlog on vlog. I love that. Watch both both. Uh, both ones but no that was that was brilliant that was but uh, of course lots more to see here megaphobia is the highlight but so much more including the new attraction of this year dizzy disc of course we got the uh, euro fighter over at the back to go and check out speed and so much more oh so we just had a few awesome rides there in a row on megaphobia and i tell you what that thing is absolutely incredible and it's great to see that oakwood have got it running on two trains again i mean that's brilliant back row, a uh, massive ejector airtime, especially on that first drop. And still one of my favorite elements is actually towards the end of the layout, uh, where you're going round to the left and then suddenly you're whacked into the side uh, of the seat as it banks round. Uh, absolutely incredible. Uh, and yeah, just, you know, it's really nice to be here. The sun's coming out now. In fact, I'm gonna go back, oh, to speed. I'm gonna go back to the tent soon, because um, I need to get my shorts back on. So when I do, I'll take you for a little look around my tent if you want. You'll see me tent. Yeah, yeah, take see Sean's crib. Yeah, come and see Sean's crib. Sean's Crib. You're all probably expecting, oh, Sean's got this big, massive tent. Honestly, it's a tight, it's t I can't fit in it. It's right? smaller than my yeah, minute. It's <laughs> I can't fit in it. But uh, yeah, megaphobia, incredible. Me and Andy are walking around and we're like, where's everybody gone? Like, we, we stayed on for another ride and everyone's like just disappeared somewhere. That's what so. I keep saying, get to your smaller, quieter parks. Yeah. I've been here before, it's been busy, still got on the rides. I've been here when it's quiet and it's brilliant because you can get loads of re-rides and everything. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. I mean, it's a great part to come to for re-rides. This summer event, what they put on, is incredible. Yes, we're here with the Coaster Club, but in general, if you just come down on a Wednesday or Saturday in August, you're going to get rides till 10, you're going to get fireworks. It's, it's one of the you're best. For a great one. It's one right. of the best late night re events in the UK. It is, and it's consistent. Yeah. It's twice a week throughout August. It's brilliant. It uh, but yeah, of course, check out the website, you know, for all the different times. And if you're watching this in a, a future year, make sure you look back to check the dates to avoid disappointment. But yeah, up well, next then, go for a ride on speed. There's no limits to this ride though, you know. Uh, nice girls like Eurofighter. There is, there is no limit, it says that. Is it? No, no limits? Oh, you're joking. There is a limit. <laughs> Shocking. Uh, but here we go, we go for a ride on here. We'll try and find people because uh, Alex Crump's here somewhere. The milkman is, is here. He Mr. Wasn't Lee actually. Wood. Yeah, Mr. Lee Wood's here. Well, we saw Lee on, uh, he came for a ride uh, just on Mega before me and Andy did a couple of re-rides. But look at their speed. Is it on one train as well? Spin it's the dead. camera around. Like, look at it, it's dead. Like, we'll take you on, that's the beauty of it. You know, we we'll just take you on the ride. I remember though, when I first came here as a kid, I was queued down here for speed. Yeah. And now it's like all the way, uh, you know, walk on, all the way back there. So, I don't know, like, you've got to come out here. We always say it, both me and Andy say it on our channels. You've got to support these parts. Yeah, come down do. here, check them out. Uh, you know, and especially when they're putting on big events, they could just open till five o'clock, you know, but they don't, they run till 10. And from what we've seen from camping last night, there's some awesome new lighting to see later. So yeah, join us for a ride on Speed No Limits. And uh, yeah, then I'm gonna take you over to the tent, get me shorts on. Here we are, nice 
nice front row ride on speed. I'll tell you what, it's absolutely baking though now, I'm off. Oh, it is on two trains though, that's good. I thought it was on one at first, but at least they are running it on two. Oh. You gotta love a good vertical lift, Dale. I don't. Yeah, do you not like him? Oh, Andy. It's a slow one, this, isn't it? Like, you look at how far. It's not as scary as Carnot. No, Carnot, that is crazy. There we go. Oh, don't worry, I think we scared him behind then, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is an intense ride, this is. You know, like, I think because the force changes so much at the bottom of this drop. And then you're up straight up into that air tire hill. Here we go! Oh! It's cutting the grass underneath. Here you are, Andy, have you got your strimmer out? It's cutting the grass. Ah! Oh. Woo! Hey, legs! Hey, legs! Hey, legs! Hey, legs! Oh! Hey! Shot brakes. Oh! Bro, I'll tell you what, that is the most intense Eurofighter in the country, that. Oh, that is intense. I've got a bit of girl steak, but you know me, my love for Gerstar this year, yeah, it's been going up. Like, I'm enjoying Gerstar coasters more, but some of the newer ones, not these older ones. But there uh, we are. I'm glad to go on it. Yeah, it's better, like Andy just said, better than Saw that. I do enjoy it. Nice, intense ride. A nice on ride POV there from the front row of Speed No Limits. And I must say, it's a nice, intense ride that. I wouldn't want to keep going round on it like I used to a few years ago. Don't know how I marathoned it on an ERS a few years back. I'm sure I did like 12, 13 rides on it in an hour. I don't know how I did it because it's intense, but here we go. Talking of intense, intense. I'm in my tent, but I'm sure that's my joke. And what, that's what's Mr. Lee Wood got over here? What you got? What's that, mate? Merchandise, mate. Merchandise? Yeah. So in the shop at the Exit they to Megaphobia, selling, yeah. selling bits. Posters, park mat, £10 each. This to be honest, £10 each. Posters are £15. Uh, advertising like core fast stuff like that. Ooh. But they use £10 each. To bargain, be honest, mate, I think bargain. 10 quid because it's not like the paper, either. the proper, no, like, no, proper like if they get wet, it doesn't matter, sort of yeah. thing, you know, proper style. But I bet Lee's happy with that, aren't you? I am, yeah. I bet you're yeah, loving it. But uh, you're, having, you're having a good day. You've been on many rides so far. To be honest, I've not done yeah, that much done yet. Maybe like seven times. Just, just the seven, but tonight, yeah. We're on, we've got yeah, two trains for tonight. I'm saving myself. For Save later. your rides for later on. But, man, uh, oh no, man. there we go. So, oh, yes. there's a certain person in this tent, he's never been, not just to Oakwood, he's never been to Wales before. <laughs> <laughs> Why have you never been to Wales? I just never really fancied it till now. Welcome to Oakwood. Thanks. It's <laughs> really crazy. I don't know whose tent this is, like. Oh, well, to be honest, like, our, our pitch is like all these, here's Ian over here as well. Like, we've got like all these tents, haven't we? We've got like yeah. Tina, Rommel, Coastasaurus are over amazing. there. HM Tenters. Coasters are like down here. TP and then, as well. Then, like, theme Bart Worldwide, yeah. we're in this little one over here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's Lee's over there. That is, there you go. Do you want to see? That's my shaving, that's my toothbrush, there you go. That's it, nothing fancy with me, just a little little toothbrush. But there you go, I've got my little light down here. I've got permanent lighting installed. So I'll just give that a little pull. There you go. It doesn't, it doesn't look much in the daytime. <laughs> At night, that's nighttime. good. But yeah, I'll get a bit of footage tonight because we have a big campfire over here. We actually had one last night, but on the Friday and Saturday we do it. So we'll have a bit of a campfire. Someone's night. trying to get their maps in the tent. <laughs> really struggling here. Come on, Lee, get them stored. Yeah, but yeah, 10 quid from the shop. Like, Absolute bargain, isn't it? But um, yeah, we're gonna head back into the park, get some food shortly, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the afternoon. People have always said you and I are a bit camp, but this isn't quite what I meant. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you camping? Have you got, where's your tent? I'm, I am sorry to tell you, I don't own a tent, so I'm sharing with you tonight. <laughs> you can't fit in that, I can't fit in myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, your head was sticking out last night. No, I am sleeping in my car. Alex is in the car. Because I, I, I'm a bit comfier than in a tent. But how do you feel like buy one, How do you feel about being here at Oakwood? It's really like, nice. We'll have it's to really get nice. out, have a ride. I've not actually been on. You've Oakwood been on doing it this morning, Megaphobia, haven't you? I've but done Megaphobia. I did the back row. We'll go on together because we've not actually had a ride in it together yet. I will not yet, say a so. thing about it. I will come on with you. And I would like to sit near the front because I've been told that's a nice experience. Yeah, we need to do a front row. I've done a couple of POVs, one mid train, one at the back. But I really so. like Oakwood. It's a very nice yeah. park. It feels like it's in the middle of nowhere, but actually there are some small towns and villages quite nearby. Yeah, Tenby, a nice seaside town, Narbeth. And as much as the weather isn't always great down here, it's nice to be in a park that's so fresh and colourful and lots of indoor things to do. Yeah, definitely. Sure. But there you go, there's the tents. Yeah, like I so I'm in this small little one over here. And then we've got this is like the party tent over here, it's where yeah. it all happens. Like we've got 17 people in it this morning. Yeah, there is a lot of people oh. in there. It's another one over here. Like look at the size of this, massive, tent. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a little brolly. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> right, Hopefully. Right, right. Are you going to come on these water rides this afternoon? I mean, obviously we camp on this side just here. I've shown you it on the channel before. We camp right next to Drench just there. So yeah, we'll definitely. Oh, there we are. <laughs> Knocking the light careful, when we camp. Careful, but uh, are you going to do like I'm singing in the rain or something there? Like, yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm waiting for. But Lee's just shaking his head over there like, oh god. But yeah, we'll get we'll get the campfire going later on down there. And uh, yeah, right, let's head back in the park. Loads more rides to go on. Of course, me and Alex have a ride on Megaphobia as well. Go and do some other bits, treetops to go on and loads of other rides also check out the new dizzy disc for this year the time has come to ride on drenched here at oakwood and here we go we got rich down here we got alex and we've got everybody else who should be coming to join us shortly but they are making their way down towards this absolute soaker where we're going to get drenched bear in mind alex had never been on this before so here we go we're in for a wet ride well we might be why you know, well, Rich told me that last year he didn't actually get that wet what? one here, Rich. Yeah, yeah. You didn't get that? Third row back. Oh, yeah, it's the point where you go. You can sit on the third row back. You want to go the front row for the full experience yeah. on oh, this. Oh, really? Is that the best row? That is the best row. Oh, well, but... you must be right. We well, just had a chill back at the campsite, haven't we? Like, yeah. I'm a bit of a chill. It's a bit like I'm a celeb. You kind of do you try, you push up your trial and you go back to camp <laughs> for a while. Here you are, Here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> this is it. All right, who's going on the front row? That's the fun bit. But here See we go. Time. Oh, thank you. Cheers. <laughs> here we go. It's going round and drenched. We got the GoPro. We're going to get absolutely drenched on this wonderful ride. What a beauty! Look at that. Ready to go. Oh, oh my God! Here we go. Look at that drop. I'm so scared. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. It's very intimidating when you're coming up here oh. and you just see that drop at the side. I was just saying to Alex, obviously when you go on tidal wave or something, with you not having the over the shoulder restraint, you kind of, when you go down the drop, you sort of come to the side and uh, you know, you, you sort of can shield your face. Whereas on this, you are fully exposed oh, to the go. elements. Oh, oh boy. Are you ready, Alex? Oh, I'm not really this sure. Oh. I don't want to do it, Sean. How was that then, Alex? <laughs> you tell it's a bit wet. Oh, to be honest, though, what's gone here? Your restraint. I wonder where it's been. Oh, oh, yeah. oh sorry, I touched your boob there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there we are. Look at that, though. Like, you know, that was oh, great. How bad is that? Oh my god! Like, I tell you what, we need to do now, though. Waterfall. Yeah. It's a bit of an awkward tradition. Like, you know, oh, we're already wet. So yeah, we're already wet. And to be honest, I don't think the water was as cold <laughs> as it normally feels. But here I am. <laughs> yeah. Dripping wet, but it's well worth it to be honest. I feel like I might go on it again. Does that sound really crazy? Yeah. I might do waterfall, no, I might do waterfall and then actually come back up this way and do it again. I might, I mean, on a serious note, though, that is a more of a thrill ride than a water ride coming down that drop because you've got that over the shoulder restraint. You can't move, can you? You are restricted, like I say, on tidal wave, you're going down the drop. And you're like, oh, and you can kind of move forward a little bit when the boat hits the water. On that, because you've got that restraint holding you back, um, you know, that you, you feel the full force of that water hitting. Brilliant, really good. I enjoyed that. One of, probably my favorite ride of the day. Worth pointing out that if you do go on the front row, as you probably saw on the GoPro footage, the water sprays up like mad. And when you're coming down the drop, it sprays up, uh, you know, hits you all in, in the front. But yeah, brilliant, really enjoyed that. Down to waterfall now, I love it. Let's uh, carry on with a bit of a water ride session. You might be thinking, the sun's gone, it looks a bit cold. It's not too bad, like, you know, I've come off that before, I've been dripping wet through, but I'm all right after that one. But, uh, <laughs> Speak for yourself, man, yeah. <laughs> I love right. it. They made us swap seats as well, so I got the soaker. Yeah, Can't wait to see, I'm on waterfall. What? Come on, no. <laughs> right, just on the way down then to waterfall, we decided to come and do another water ride, Skull Rock, the old Camelot classic there. This used to be the log flume at Camelot theme park that unfortunately they did close down the little dragon coaster at the back there was also from camelot uh, but here we go yeah we thought we may as well, well wet anyway we may as well go on here school rock and have a little ride on the way down to waterfall so hey love it i'm probably gonna have another go on drench there you know probably am we're not all going in together we're, <laughs> we're not oh my god who's the unlucky one in the front oh, oh no oh no no oh 
What's he doing? Oh no. Look at this. Here we go. Who's coming in here with me? Oh great. Come on, Rich. Are we actually all going in? Oh yeah. Look at it. Well, yeah. Let's do it. Am I in the front? Oh thanks, Lee. Thanks. Look at this. You need to get wet here where the restraints be. Oh my god. Right, let's go on. Oh, no. oh. I can't believe this, we've actually all gone in the boat together. Look, look at that, I've got Lee's knee just down here. What is going on? Is this even going to make it round? Yeah. Oh my god. So was it, uh, was it, was it Alex that suggested this and then now I'm in the front? It was Lee Wood, I've, had it, I've ended up in the front. I'm innocent. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, it's fine. She said you can do fine. Oh god. you got to love how random this Welsh weekender is. You know, like with the camping and the coming to the park for a bit and going back to the tent. Honestly, like it's crazy. I do love it. We've got a bit of quality theming in here. Oh. Oh. There we are. Oh. There's a big cannon in the shed. That's what we got. I don't want to ruin the vlog. We've not been on here. Like. Oh. Parrot. Yeah, it's quite nice in here. Maybe moving forward, they could have a little bit more of an audio track playing. But it's got some voiceovers. Yo, 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 yo. yo. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Right. I'm probably gonna get I'm gonna get wetter on here than I did just on drenched, I think. Five people in this boat on Skull Rock here at Oakwood. August 2019, here we go. Oh blimey. Oh. Where's the camera? There! Ah. Ah. I'm not that bad. I'm alright. <laughs> to be honest, I've done all right there, you know. I'm all right. I'm all right. Oh, don't rock the boat, baby. There we go. Bit of school rock, but it's nicely themed, that is. Oh, <laughs> it's nicely themed. Little ride. Right, we're going down waterfall now. You got to do a water ride session at Oakwood because then you can get changed. And then you're not chilly for the rest of the day, especially till ten o'clock. There you go. That was good. Alex, can I have your reactions to the school rock? Reactions, please. Reactions to the log Reactions. flume. Reactions. Camelot Classic. How do you feel? They've resurrected a Camelot Classic at the park, sir. Camelot Classic. Camelot Classic. What information you need to give my press statement team? Please, please. Camelot Classic. Log flume. Please, please. Camelot Classic. Log flume. He was a bit rude, wasn't he? Right, so the time has come. We've made it to a bit of an Oakwood Classic. Here we go. Welcome to Waterfall. This thing is absolutely terrifying. I might have been around the world on lots of different rides at theme parks, amusement parks, fun fairs, you name it, I've probably been there. But there's this ride here, it's terrifying because literally you climb up some steps and then you get given like a little baking tray and then you sit on it, go down that huge drop and then you have to glide all the way along here without falling in. However, a few years back, if you've been watching these vlogs for a while, you'll know that I came flying off down there so let's see what happens i came flying off let's uh, see what happens today i mean at the moment we're swapping over i've got the bags down here uh, those guys have all gone up there so we've got adam uh, richard up there lee and alex they're all ready to go then i'll go around next we'll swap over and they'll get a bit of footage of me with this povs are great we can still film on there but it looks better from off-ride really but i will take you on with the gopro anyway but you want to get some good off-ride shots with this as well luckily the sun has just started to come out and we've got Bert the Seagull up here as well on this lamppost. So, oh, it literally just flew off when I did that. He's gone around there. There you go, he's on the floor. Uh, but here we go, it's time for Waterfall. Let's see who's going to get a wipe out today. So first up, we've got Adam and Lee up there. Lee's on the one closest to us. Let's hope he falls in. Or rather, let's hope he stays on. Here we go. <laughs> oh, down we come. Are they all right? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah! Oh, he's riding that well. He did well! He did well there, that was good. You stay, you stayed on. That's it, right. We've got Richard coming down next. And Alex, bear in mind, Alex has never been on this before. He's never done this ride type before. This could get messy. And here comes Alex and Richard. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> he's in! 
Oh my god, he is in! Are you alright? Uh, have you been swimming? His first ever ride on waterfall. And he's in. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. Alex, you shouldn't have wore that white t shirt. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and Richard there doing it with style, of course. Right, I suppose it's my go now, is it? Right, here we go. Oh, go on, waterfall, here he comes. <laughs> Alex, you would have been fine then if you didn't put your legs in the water. If you kept your legs on, yeah, yeah. Is that Lee's top tips, is it? Lee's top tips to water for. Nobody wants to see that. You're an old man. You're an expert in these rides. Come here. Oh my god. Oh, let's just confirm. Did it, was that genuine or did you actually just. Was that genuine? I tried to. I didn't want to go for the first go. It was, it was genuine. There you go. Right. I'm trying to keep your legs on with the deep, slippy, floppy... My go now. I'll take you on with the GoPro and uh, yeah, let's see what happens on this one. We'll get some off-ride footage on me in action as well. Look at that. Look at the pain in his face. He's loving it. Water ride session. So after quite a lot of deliberating and drinking water, I have decided that I am going to stay off and film Sean as he comes down the slide. Him and Adam are on their way. Let me see if I can get a bit of a zoom in for you there. Now they are getting the brace position ready to go. Sean doesn't have a good history with this ride, and clearly so far, neither do I. So let's see how he gets on. Adam seemed to do it pretty well last time. Here we go. Here they come. Oh, in style. In style. How was that? That was good. You did well. Honestly, it's one of the scariest rides going, though. It's terrifying, isn't it, when you're coming down? And in just a moment, Lee is on his way down with Rich. They're going to come down together. I mean, I really want to see Lee fall in, don't you, Sean? Yeah. That'd be the dream right now. Let's see if we can uh, see if we can make that happen. Here he comes, Lee Wood for Great Britain. Here we go. There he is up there, waiting, contemplating with Rich. Come on, Lee. Here we go. Here we go. We're going for the gold medal. Here he comes. Oh, I hope he goes in. Oh. Oh, no. oh so with style. One more time. <laughs> we gotta have one more. It's I don't got, think got so. I'll do it again. Yeah. Of course, it's I'll do it. I'll do it again. Yeah, you know, we gotta go again on that. It's worth it. I'm not gonna fall in though. <laughs> I tell you what, that definitely wasn't planned. Definitely not. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely soaked after that ride on Waterfall. But welcome to Spooky Street, here we go. So this area has undergone a few changes uh, over the last few years. Of course, it's home to Spooky 3D, which is the dark ride just over there. You got the coaster over at the back there as well, the creepy crawler. Uh, and then of course, you got this uh, pizza restaurant here as well. For this year, they've actually moved over the teacups that were in another area of the park, painted them up, and fit them in with this whole spooky theme. And it's called the Witch's Brew. And as you can see, that's just up at the top. Of course, got a couple of other coasters to go on. We'll do the creepy crawler. Got treetops to go on later as well. But firstly, we're going in Witch's Hunt, which is the scare attraction here. We know a couple of people are acting in here this afternoon. We've got permission to film inside. So here we go. We're gonna head around this way. Oh, no queue for Witch Hunt. So I'm looking forward to this. Oh, well, it's got a big queue. Yeah, <laughs> he's got a big queue. Oh there we go, what are we do? Theme Bar Worldwide, I'm, I'm Adam, coming in. Come on, come on in. Here we go. Adam, this is it. Adam, Adam. Adam. Adam's not. let the viewers down. Yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> Adam's mum, I know you're watching this. <laughs> I promise you won't be disappointed for long. So, Adam, he's not a big fan of scare attractions, I hate but, them. you know, I can't stand honestly, be fine. I'll do any, any coaster in the world, right? Any coaster. I, I, I will not. Do scare How are you going to go on if they have a go Halloween Horror Oh, well, Whoa! there you go. But on that note, we're going in witch hunts here at Oakwood. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, taking you guys inside for this one. First time we've been allowed to film in it, so I'm looking forward to it. Welcome to the SA branch of the 
we chanters. For centuries, we've been here rounding up rotten witches like you. That's right, we knew who you are, and some of you have come in a very good disguise. Even dressed as men and boys. Very clever. Our job is to transform you bad witches into good, normal people. People who can live in society spell free and not cause panic or hysteria to good people like us. If successful in our program, you will leave witch free and a better person. You had no choice how you came into this world, but you can choose how you leave. Follow our rules and instructions and we'll get along fine. However, break the rules and we assure you, you'll never see the light of day again. For locked in the basement of this building, for everyone's safety, of those witches that don't conform, those that have not completed the tests, and those that suffer as a result of our testing. So let's begin with step one, which we like to call registration. Remain seated and look straight ahead. You see, that was pretty easy, wasn't it? You witches are playing nicely. Now let's move on to step two, sedation. Stay seated, remain calm. We will get this under control. My couch and shelf. My couch and shelf. So you just saw some footage from inside Witch Hunt. And I must say, I enjoyed it a lot more this time uh, than when I did it previously. Uh, there's really good scares in there. One of my favorite effects that you saw 
Uh, which is like the, the fake mirror, isn't it? You're looking towards it, you can see yourself, and then the light comes on, and the actor comes running towards it. Uh, but overall, I really do like it. But we've got someone here who's quite special, because we've not seen him in a video for a while, but he has been in some videos on Theme Park Worldwide. A big part of Oakwood and this weekend that's put on by the European Coaster Club. Uh, it, it brings a lot of people together, this event. And uh, you might recognise this guy. It's the one, the only. He's a Theme Park fan. It's Nick Hudson, who, who actually does theme park audio just so you know and some of the audio that he's done you'll actually hear uh, at Oakwood I mean I mentioned it back at the start of the vlog actually all the new music you hear when you're walking in um, you know all, all of it is you've done haven't you Nick? Apart from Neverland. Apart from Neverland. Yeah it was a complete new package for the park and yeah. it's nicer than pop music. Yeah I nobody likes it, pop music. Well we all like pop music well, but you don't, pay, you don't pay to go to a park to hear the same music you hear in the car. Yeah, you want the experience. And you know me in these vlogs, I'm always saying audio makes a big difference. And yeah. I don't like walking down a path and hearing nothing. I think it really adds to it, especially when a park might be a bit quieter. I think having some a, music, a soundtrack, having that music on in the background, uh, just really adds to it for me and builds a bit of atmosphere. But yeah, you did the audio for Witch Hunt Dude, and you've also done the new soundtrack for tonight's show that we're going to be watching. I mean, you know me, I always love the show here. Yeah, it's just such a nice combination of effects and with the big oakwood wooden sign all the projections and the lighting of course the fireworks and the soundtrack it's been in for a couple of years the one previously two wasn't years. it two years uh, and it was great all custom what nick did and he's done a new one for this year so you're going to hear it later on in the show but yeah i really like witch hunts i mean i know you didn't sort of do much in terms of the theming and that in there but it's a good attraction i know we're getting attacked by wasps today but in terms of like the, the theme and stuff in there it's nice isn't it, it, yeah. it it's cool that there's a year round year-round scare raids um, in the summer and the music is kind of like straight to things effectively if you yeah. know that TV show I, um, I've seen a little bit you know yeah. me I don't watch many films and, and films, but I have seen a little bit of straight to things and, just a bit. Um, quite simply quite but it, it's the actors in there make it and when we yeah. put some friends of ours in like, that made it today some friends yeah. of ours were in there and Nicole and Ruby were in there acting and like, they were great actually yeah. weren't they really good so, really good job to the job done by them um, the music's fun you know yeah, it, it, yeah. it adds to the atmosphere but the smoke is good the lighting's good and it's just here and I love the fact that people go into this thing not knowing what the heck it is I'll tell you what Nick what's been a bit freaky obviously we've been camping over I mean Nick's yeah. not camping but we've been camping over the past couple of nights and the audio down here has still been on in the middle of the night so I've come down here to use the toilets bear in mind we've got a little portalo on the camp or you can come and use these proper ones I've come down here at like two in the two o'clock in the morning and I can hear like this Nick's audio in there it's like it's haunting me you know but, Nicole's voice yeah I know it's spooky but anyway good seeing it we're gonna, you know, we're gonna do a few rides yeah. I'm gonna do a few bits I think we're gonna go on spooky 3d whilst we're here and uh, give that a go <laughs> off we go so you gotta bear in mind this is Alex's first time experiencing the delights of spooky 3D. Come on, get your glasses on. I want you to get the full experience. It I've told you this before, it doesn't work. I, it does. You get I know, it. I, 3D doesn't work for me. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, funny with that on and this, on your little puffer jacket here. Look at that. It's like you, 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 you it's thinking. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Hello. Here, Here's something for you though, this is better than uh, Dr. Umboto's catacombs at Westminster Safari Park. Right. Don't worry. There's not, not, not much to compete with now. Yeah. <laughs> oh! some strings hanging down from the ceiling at this point. Quite tickling. <laughs> See, that's quite a good jump scare, that one.
Like you go into some of these rooms, you just expect something to like happen and not a lot really does. You might get the other lighting effects and stuff, but the best scare is that horn, to be honest. That is the best part of the ride. And that makes the test. Joe, I'm on a serious reality check in here. I'm caught on a dark ride and I didn't think these kind of rides were possible. Oh, and now I've seen it, I feel like. I feel like I found my place of what is going on there. Oh! <laughs> right then, up next, it's time to ride the creepy crawler. And as you can see, we enter this giant pumpkin just here. And then you get inside. It's not what you expect. It's felt like all the guts inside a pumpkin. And what you've got is this nice house, all the wallpaper around, some suspicious books around here. And it's like someone's been eating some sweets, but there we go. Maybe I'll have a little ride on this, take you along. The creepy crawler. Here we are. So this was put in a couple of years back now. Originally, it was uh, James and the Giant Peach, all based on Roald Dahl, um, and then it got changed. Like it was going to be Dahl Land, and then it got changed now, all based around spooky things. So here we go. And this is like my dream world of theme parks. This I've got enough theme park memorabilia to like put in here and you know, fill this shelves and mugs all the way around. I love it. Yes, let's go on. It's not the best coast for this, but you know, it's something else what they put in a couple of years ago. And of course, still got to try out Dizzy Disc this afternoon as well, or this evening. Oh, great. Thank you. Oh, God. I think you can tell what we think to this one by the groans. You're going to get a great view. I'm not going to steal these jokes, but there we go. <laughs> Oh, the Eden Project. Oh, I don't know if you heard it on the GoPro, so I'll say it again. Lee gets full credit. It's the Eden Project. Well, that looks lovely. It's like a mini golf and high ropes. And so it looks great. Oh, here we go. Oh, God. Blimey. Oh. Hey. There we go. Oh. Oh, I love those transitions, yeah! Oh. <laughs> All these groans. He likes it, he likes it! Oh. Oh, oh. To, to be honest, that's probably the best ride I've had on that. Like, that was alright that. Yeah, I've done worse. Yeah. That, that was alright that was. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. But yeah, I must say the, the bluestone area next door, that expansion looks lovely up there. A uh, big outdoor area, all the Eden Project, as Mr. Lee would say. <laughs> there you go. Lovely, creepy crawler. <laughs> Oh, I'll tell you why, it's an incredible view, isn't it? Every time you walk around this corner and look at that iconic shot over the water, megaphobia here at Oakwood. But yeah, you've just seen some on ride footage from Spooky 3D. And uh, yeah, you know, they could do so much with that, in my opinion. You know me and dark rides, I've got a big love for dark rides. To be honest, I'd take a lot of dark rides over some coasters, like for a full experience. It's got some good you know. scares, though. It right? has. The, the horn's the best one. It's yeah. certainly got Alex in there, you know. Uh, the horn is the, the best one. The is very good. Yeah, just some nice bits. Here we are, two trains in action on Megaphobia, which is where we're going next. Alex, his first time here, so we're going to get his reactions to what he thinks. I need to have a ride with him, when we can see him anyway. I'm very excited for this, Sean. I'm very cool. I'm going to have to lower you down, mate. There we are. So, you've already been on it earlier, yeah. but we've not actually been on this together. Oh. So, we're about to have a ride together on this. Yeah. And we're going to get Alex's thoughts on Megaphobia, which... Um, a long time coming, haven't it? Yeah, really? I mean, we spoke about it for a long time. I don't know why you've never come to the Wilds Weekender, to be honest. Like, it's a long way and stuff, but 
Yeah. Wales just aren't very good at football and rugby. Oh. Joking. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, what have I done? What I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, no, I just, I've never really found that I've been able to have the right time off. So it's nice to actually be here. A part which I feel like I've already known for years. Because I mean, I watched your vlogs when you used to come here years yeah. ago. And, you know, hearing all about the events, seeing photos, and just knowing about coasters and stuff in general. It's nice actually be, it's really, it's a bit weird really. Mm. I think what's really been hardest, I'm not going to lie to you, since coming back from the USA, flying out about some new rides like this coaster, after so much what we saw, you've really got to kind of lower your standards for a lot of things yeah. and compare them to what we have in the UK rather than around the world. You've got to appreciate world. everything for what it is, yeah. much like some more of Nick's audio that we're hearing down here. Well, we don't want to do that. Oh, it's good. We like, I think it sounds great. I mean, you know, you even got a little bit in here where you do uh, the, the slogan of the ride, haven't you? The thrills beyond fear. Yeah. So if you're walking down here this year, <laughs> you're walking down here and you hear that voice there we are and that's the guy who, uh, who's done it but here we go we're gonna walk down here and have a little ride on megaphobia let's go the music's pumping over there now as well um, as much as we were talking about all the themed audio and things uh, they have like the paint party and all that which uses like your pop music and stuff and then of course when it comes round to the show that's when all the themed audio uh, kicks back in again it's on throughout the day and they start all the entertainment what does that normally um, consist of anyway you be paint party that's what, what does it that is. normally consist of They're throwing paint at each other for, yeah it gets a bit that sounds horrible it gets a bit messy oh. and i don't know if i'm going to be taking part this year but we'll see not liquid paint are you going in nick are you, are you taking part in the party see if nick's not in i'm not in so oh you guys are losers you're, come on i'm going in you're going in any excuse for a rave me well if martin mcfly's going in i might go right. in so here we go oh by the way your wig's on order right let's go for a little ride on megaphobia <laughs> Right then, so we did a mid-train ride earlier on, then a back row, and now we're on the front row on Megaphobia. So of course, like earlier on as well, we are going to uh, stop a little bit on the lift hill just while we wait for that other train to clear the block at the end. But it's great to see it on two trains, like I say. I know I keep going on about it, but really good to see. For a good few years we've been coming here, and this beauty's been on one train, so it's nice to see it on two. And here we go, me and Alex on the front. Hello ready to ride on what in my opinion is the best wooden roller coaster in the united kingdom i love this to bits just wait until tonight six years of making this oh no i can't believe it we spoke about this moment a lot it's quite emotional it being is. alex's first ride on this quality woody i don't know if you know but life is a roller coaster sure well you know what you gotta do with that you, you just gotta it? ride it and that's what we're doing let's Make go yeah yes. Some good air. Wow. Hey. Here we are, the John Wardley corner. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. There we go. Wave at everybody at the Eden Project. brilliant really really nice on the front row in my opinion it is a better back row ride for more of the lateral force the airtime and just the sheer intensity uh, but of course the front row is always nice to see uh, so you can get that front row perspective oh you said an awesome front row ride there on megaphobia We're making our way down towards treetops there he is down there is it a lifeguard is he my fly I'm not too sure we need to get alex's thoughts don't we on that classic woody on that welsh bit of woods here he is. He's chilling. He's chilling out. He doesn't even know that I'm filming him now. He just doesn't even know. Yeah, yeah. He's ignoring me now. What's that? What's that? Yeah, yeah. I was winding you up. Calling him Martin McFly. What do you think? Martin McFly? I love you. Have you been to Megaphobia? It was a very, very good Woody. Yeah. I think I'd, put, I'd probably go as far as to say, and a more Woody in the UK. There you go. Deserves it. Deserves the title. I'm going to say it's a spiel, but uh, yeah, I think it's. Uh, 
an old classic ride, but it doesn't need anything. It's actually nice to see a ride that just needs to be like Nemesis. She needs to be left alone. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, it's not even that old, really, like 90 C. You know, it's, no, uh, but I suppose you know, consider it compared to a lot of the new generation stuff that we have these days. I mean, there's double whammy going on here. I'm I know. Good All these I feel like I'm in 3D. <laughs> Crazy, but uh, yeah, and obviously you've not seen its full potential yet no. tonight in the ERS. ERS. You're in for a treat to tonight. Well, here we go, treetops. Well, Got some nice lighting over there. Look at that. All this nice lighting, what they've put. I can't wait to see it all tonight, all lit up around the rest of the park. I'm trying, like, sandwich, like pack myself in here. It's like, oh, yeah. right, you, know when you, get well, six, you know when your mum used to make you six sandwiches as a kid? Like, oh, that was just me. Just try and put it all in one Tupperware jar. Yeah, <laughs> that's all you did. Yeah. Right, let's go on treetops. Off we go. Arms in the air like you just don't care. There we go. Time to go and see the forest. Feed the trees, here we go. Oy. That light is gonna be good at night. Oh, we could have really spent the money on lighting this year. Can't wait to see it in a couple of hours. Oy. Tree tops. One lap now. You used to actually get two laps round on this, and yeah, and it goes round the once now, it seems. Oh, yeah, <laughs> stop it now. There we go. That's a shame, really, but there we go. It's a good ride, though. You can always walk back round and have another go. So, the music's pumping down here at Oakwood, ready for all the entertainment to kick in tonight. We've got a DJ on down there. What an atmosphere, it's lovely. And we've just come off the Treetops coaster, and we're about to go on the new for 2019 Dizzy Disc. Let's go and have a party. There's all the party rockers up there. I must say, I do like the lighting package that we've got on here. We've already spoke quite a bit about lighting in this vlog and how good it's going to look tonight. But yeah, this looks really good on here, all the colours. Rainbow LEDs on there, you got all these arrows up the sides. Yeah, I think it looks really good. So there used to be the clown coaster up here. And um, like your teacups and stuff used to be located over here as well, all around this top bit. And then so that was relocated, the clown coaster's gone. You know, it looks different around there, doesn't it now, don't you think? I'm back on the vlog, I yeah. know, Andy's actually went, been to sleep. I, went, I booked an hotel because I'm all man, I can't sleep in tents anymore. But boring, boring. Oh. What was the reason? You're too old. Oh, hey. Who's the oldest one here? And Ian's camping. Him. Like, him. Ian, him. Ian's done the full older. three nights, Andy. Yeah. The full three nights. Well, anyway, I went back to the hotel <laughs> to check in and uh, fell asleep, did I? Andy, about but he's back. Hours, Luckily, you woke up before the ERS. Know, Can you imagine right. if you woke up at 11 o'clock? Well You'd be gutted, wouldn't you? You'd be gutted. <laughs> yeah, it is worth it, though, isn't yeah, it? But, awesome, yeah. yeah, like, let's go on Dizzy Disc. Let's go and have a little ride on here. New for 2019. Let's go. Party Rock is in the house tonight at Oakwood. Hey, right, here we go. So out of all of us there, it's just me and Heather that have come on. Just two of us on Dizzy Disc. So you might look at this and think, oh, here we go. It's another Zamperla Disco. This actually isn't Zamperla. There we are now. You're thinking, what the hell? Yeah, it's not done by Zamperla, this one. It's another manufacturer. And Phil, the wonderful general manager here, did tell me earlier on who that manufacturer was. And I've forgotten. So there we are. I'm useless. But yeah, it's new for this year. Uh, and it's been relocated to Oakwood. Good. So let's see how this rides. What's really different and what you notice about the Zamperlas compared to this is that before you start rocking back and forwards, oh, yeah. you actually start spinning quite a bit before it gets into its full uh, motion. So, and then it slows a bit now, doesn't it? It slows a bit. Now. It, really it feels like we're at the end of the cycle now, and we're not like we haven't even got going yet. But here we go. From looking at it off ride, doesn't seem like it goes too high this one, but it has got a good spin to it. And it's making me a bit dizzy. Hence yeah. the name Dizzy Disc. Well, you can actually see some of the old footers and foundations for the clown coaster down here. Yeah. Um, and some of the other uh, rides that are on this area. Just a few bits, what they took out, but they put a new ride in. Give it away. Yeah, I can't believe Andy went to sleep for three hours. <laughs> Crazy. It's a good job we woke up, innit? Yeah. Good, good job we woke up. He missed the RS. 
that is the highlight of the weekend though like Andy just said you know of course I come every year anyway to this park because I really enjoy it but the ERS really does make it I was good that I missed it last year Whee! Ian's down there getting a bit of footage arms in the air Whee! dizzy disc everybody oh we got a right tune on now uh, 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 uh. Love it. Okay. Quite a long cycle on this. Yeah. I mean, personally, it's not my favourite of these discos that I've been on, but it is a new ride for Oakwood and it's investment going into the park, and that's the most important thing. Whee! It's investment going in, and that's what I like to see. There we go, it keeps going. The ride that just keeps on giving. Sorry, yeah, shame he doesn't swing all the way up to the top on here. Gets close, but not all the way. Oi! Now all you want to put your arms in the air and say, away, yeah, yeah. Oi, yeah, yeah. I love it. But don't worry, we're getting Nick's wonderful music tonight. There we go. Andy won't come on, he says. Made him sick earlier, so there you go. That's probably why I went back for a three hours sleep. Well, there you go, new for this year, Dizzy Disc. POV for you. So there we go then, just come off Dizzy Disc, the new ride for 2019. And you know what, it was running better then than when we had a ride on it earlier on today where uh, it was a little bit slower, it wasn't going as high up as it is now, probably just because it's been running for uh, more throughout the day, to be honest. Uh, but you know, it's not a bad addition to the park. It's something new, like I say, with somewhere like Oakwood, it's important that it does get investment in new things. Um, you know, it's not backed up by a massive company, Aspro, that uh, own the park. Don't get me wrong, they own a few other parks and attractions, uh, but they don't own loads and loads of stuff. So uh, at least they are spending some money here and investing, and that's important. I mean, you've got to come out to these parks support them uh, and come and have a visit because this park here really do put the effort in they don't need to do these 10 o'clock openings uh, but they do and they've done them for years it's a bit of a tradition with the park and you got to come down here and check it out and we've still got the highlights to come tonight uh, of course with the wonderful firework display and then we're getting the, the ERS tonight as well but yeah you know Dizzy Disc it's not my favourite one of those going um, you know but however it's something new it's something fresh and it's good to see they've done something for this year uh, however moving forward in the next couple of years I really feel like Oakwood would benefit from another larger ride whether that's a coaster or not I'm not too sure but just something a big family ride could, would really be a nice addition to this park in my opinion and sort of add to the offering but here we go we're going on one of my favorites here now I've not done it today normally I'm straight down here in the morning and I go on it but it's the classic bobsleigh um, so yeah we'll come along for the ride on here this is really good fun actually uh, there's a few of these there's what Nick? Bobsled or bobsleigh? It can be both I think yeah. I think it can be both yeah it says on this bobsleigh on the side because the character the mascot of this ride is called bobsleigh if you've ever looked on the ride, it's, it's Bob Slate, so there you go. But yeah, like Bob Slate, like a girl's like Bob Slate coaster is a, is a ride, isn't it? Well, yeah, this is definitely a Bob Slate. We'll let him do his audio, I think. That's why he's good at. Let's go on. Off we go then on Bob Slate. And here we go, on the lift hill. Oh, there we are. There's Nick in front of me, just theme park audio up there. I don't know if we mentioned it or not, actually, in the video. Just thought we would. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, I really like these. There's quite a few in this country, uh, quite a lot abroad as well. And obviously, you've got the proper alpine coasters as well. That's Stuart over there. Hey. He's going, oh, he's going quite slow. That's the thing with this. You do want people in front of you who are going quite fast. So I'm hoping that Nick doesn't let me down here. Yeah, it's been a great day today. I mean, a 12 hour park day here, you could do maybe 50, 60 rides if you wanted to. Have we done that today? No, because it's been a social with friends and that's what this is all about, bringing people together. Quite a few people here that I've not seen for a long time, um, like Andy, uh, Nick, and even Lee to an extent. He works so hard at Alton Towers and, you know, I haven't seen him as much. So it's nice to come here, a big social. Everybody has a good time, everybody gets on. And, uh, you know, it's great, having a really nice time. Here we go, as we make it to the top on the bobsleigh. A few of the guys have done Vertigo as well, which is the big sky coaster. It's just off to the side here. 
you can hear that music pumping now like they've got the paint party going on dj down there and then we've got the big theme show coming up tonight so but yeah this is pretty much like the last major ride for us to go in here today there's a few flats in neverland and the pirate ship and the dinghy slides and stuff but you know in terms of the major things we've covered it all today and here we go push that down all the way and let's go how you doing all right good thanks i'm good here we go Oh, that's it. Nick's got some speed in front, so we're all right. So Lee Wood came flying off earlier and I didn't capture it. Whee. This is the one. Thank you, thank you. Oh, an awesome ride there on the bobsleigh, followed by another ride on Megaphobia. And the beautiful thing is, it has just started to rain a little bit, which means it's going to wet the track, it's going to wet the rails, Andy. It is. So she's going to be flying tonight. Can't she... beat a wet ride on Megaphobia. Oh, yeah, I love a good Welsh Woody, but I can't wait for it. But anyway, talking of rides down here at Oakwood, Bounce is something that I've not actually mentioned all day today, and it definitely deserves a mention because this ride, we all thought it was a goner, to be honest. Like, um, you know, they boxed all the bottom in, we thought it was going to be removed. However, Oakwood looked at various different options, and earlier on we were looking up for Phil, the manager here at the park, to give us a bit of a talk um, all about it. Uh, but yeah, we couldn't actually capture that, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, a few bits that we can talk about, of course, is what's here on the board. And a lot of money is being spent on this ride to completely refurbish it. Obviously, it's manufactured by Huss, uh, and obviously it's one of their shot and drop towers as well. So there's all sorts of hydraulics and brakes and stuff at the top and at the bottom. Uh, but yeah, they're doing a lot of work on it. So now look at it here. I mean, the plan is, I'll sort of summarize this down for you. The plan is to have this ride back in operation at some point during the 2019 season. Uh, whether that's a matter of weeks or months, we don't know at the moment and the park don't know. You know, they're working as hard as they can uh, to get it fixed. But the most important thing is we haven't lost this classic ride because there's not many of these about, to be honest. And you know, they're not the best uh, of shot and drop towers out there. However, for Oakwood, it's an important ride and it's, you know, it's iconic because you walk into the park and you can see it's a tall structure. And especially when it was sat there, SBNO, um, you know, like for the park, how do you cover something like that up with it still standing? But they made the decision to keep it. And yeah, all the information. I mean, I'm pleased, Andy. You're pleased to see it staying. I, I, I really only am. ever got to ride it once, yeah. a long time ago, when I first came to Oakwood in itself. And also to mention the change in the brake system to the brand new magnetic system. Which is which just is, behind us. Just behind you there, which will obviously make it last a bit longer. Um, the more reliable as well than magnetic yeah. brakes, which is great. But no, it's good to see these drop and shot towers around because there isn't many like, well we got combi yeah. tower like yeah. the, i like the sns combi towers like cliffhanger it's at brilliant. Flamingo Land. Well on it the first time one of the best it's amazing one of the yeah one of the best i've been on what i really like with oakwood as well is they've been very honest and open with this they've posted on social media about it and they've put these big boards up here uh, but in terms of a little look down here of course like andy just mentioned they've replaced it all with like magnetic braking systems you can see it all over there uh, and yeah down here as well obviously the gondola's not down the bottom they've painted up like the op cabin and all the uh, areas down here uh, but yeah I, from what phil was saying it's all going to come together soon really um, so keep your eyes peeled on the park's official social media uh, to see when this is all going to be put back together but you know a lot of work's being done on this and it's going to be interesting to see are they going to stick with that name and the theme or we may be going to see them try something else uh, and upgrade it in the future who knows but uh, there we go what would you do with bounce if it was yours comment down below on this video let me know your thoughts but you've had a great day today with it being this sort of lighting levels now thought it'd be quite nice to go for a little ride over on speed no limit so anyone on it once today so let's go and have a ride on there i'll take you on again in the pov
I'll tell you what, it doesn't speed look like it's running well from that off-right footage there. Really quite fast tonight. Uh, and here we go, it's got some nice lighting on it as well. I've, it's been a vlog about lighting, hasn't it, today? I haven't even seen all of it yet, but you have loads of LED lights on this, shining up at it, makes it great for getting some good off-ride shots. Don't think it's really gonna impact the on-ride experience that much. But here we go, not on to go until the fireworks. Coming up next in the vlog, yeah, from Oakwood, the Welsh Weekender, 2019. Are you right there, Andy? Yeah, all right. He loves a good vertical lift, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a slow one, this. He's a better one, you can go The lighting looks quite good on the track there, though. Oh, I must say the sound quality is really good here at Oakwood. Do you like the sound quality for Nick's audio tonight? Here we go. Oh, wow. Whoa, I checked her. Oh, it's fast. Oh, I got some major gear state there. Major gear state. That was probably the fastest ride I've ever had on that. Blimey, I have got major gear stake though. Oh God. Basically, if you don't know what gear stake is, it's when you go on a gear style roller coaster and get a headache, it's gear stake. There you go. I'll say that was the last ride of the night on here, I believe. Here we go then, we had that awesome night ride on speed. It's time, the moment we've been waiting for. Welcome to Oakwood. It's time for some fireworks. the show.
Now I'm sure you'll all agree there that that was absolutely incredible. And of course, Nick was a big part of that with that soundtrack. I feel like just dancing around. But like, that was real, like, it's like trance. Epic. It, Look at this, the guys of appreciation. It, that um, was really nice. I, I want to do something absolutely different from last time because it was Disney. Very it was different. Kind of, Illuminations, it was more magical, whereas this is dance track, the flame is going on. party, and I wanted yeah. just to do that. And you know, it, it's great for the family market. Everyone was loving it. Sticks and things. Right. And it's not, you weren't expecting it, were you? No, like, it was very, like, not very, like, adult with the dance music exactly. and stuff. It was brilliant. Yeah, like, I loved it. Well. And I suppose for you, it was quite emotional because yeah. obviously, yes, you produced the music, but well, you got all these well. awesome guys in the tent behind yeah. me here who've I, I, programmed I, I, the lighting. I had no idea what they were going to do. No, like, you sort of produced the track, and then it's up to the guys at the Pirate team and uh, the technicians to program that and put it together but they're well done that was a really nice track yeah. and my thoughts on the show I thought it was incredible uh, a lot of fireworks in there I wasn't expecting the flames out in the crowd uh, until just before the show I spotted the flame machines up on the rig and I thought here we go so, yeah it was, no, he loves that word but uh, honestly that was really really good me personally I do prefer the fireworks behind the coaster like they used to be however it kind of opened it up here, yeah the thing is now it's more wide isn't it yeah. like it fills more of the sky having the fireworks there the light in there and I thought that was brilliant and honestly you guys need to come down here to this park and come and check it out there's no summer event like it there's not no it, it's that it's, runs it's twice just... a week that show in the summer and it's incredible for right? a whole month yeah for a whole month and obviously you might be watching this in the future this event comes back every year of course to do little upgrades here and there to things and uh, like we said earlier on you know Nick's done the new track for this year the previous this one round for two years. Uh, well, yeah, that was brilliant, really, really good. And of course, yeah, what a show, what do you think, Alex? So that your first Oakwood nighttime spectacular. Oh, what and that's way. what I'm going to call it now. I ain't calling it a fireworks show. I'm calling it a nighttime, nighttime spectacular. spectacular. It's incredible. What a way to kind of draw close somewhat to a day at Oakwood. Oh, I mean, don't worry, the highlight's still to come. I know, I know there's another <laughs> hour-long uh, excitement to come, maybe even a little bit more. Yeah, um, but just to close a park with that kind of production, um, lighting, fire, fireworks continuously. It wasn't, it wasn't a gap show. It wasn't let's have a look at the lights whilst we stopped the fireworks. It was just constant for the full 15 minutes. I loved it. And there's been dance tracks played around here throughout the evening. They've done a full paint party with the uh, UV paint, the, yeah. paint, the powder paint. The DJ up there. Um, it's, it's brilliant. But people, we need to get moving. Like, let's walk and talk. Mood. We need to walk. Yeah, we, we do got because to get our obviously we've got this ERS tonight, of course, all arranged by the European Coaster Club, where we've got an hour now to enjoy megaphobia. So I will take you on for one or two rides maybe, but we have already had three POVs of megaphobia in this vlog so we'll see what we're doing with that i will definitely take you on for one night ride though uh, but here we go join us for a night ride on megaphobia my favorite woody in the uk i just want to say oakwood you are doing something what no one else is in the uk with that in the summer and uh, we might have a lot of fireworks events later in the year but summer you got the market there and if you're watching this and you like that come down here support the park and check it out oakwood is in the way oh yes here we go here's rich come on give us a show you're a little out there look at that i love it here we go yeah, yeah so we got two trains tonight Night for the ERS. Yes. We'll love it. Two trains. Uh, go what mark. you got here? And the silver <laughs> one. You've joined us live as Megaphobia. <laughs> what? Uh, I don't know. It's not live. It's about two weeks after oh, yeah. Sorry to let you down. Well, yeah. well, yeah, looking forward to this. Two trains. <laughs> You're a bit pink there, Adam. Yeah, a little bit of pink. Yeah, a bit, a bit of pink. I'm yeah. not on your cheek, round Yeah, no, I'm not near as well. It's a colour fair. Oh, oh. oh. Megaphobia in the dark, it's lights out. Look at it, we can't see anything out there. All we're gonna see is glow sticks like making the way round on this epic wooden coaster. Like I say, I'll get my chest mount on, I'll take you on for one of them, but you're not gonna see much out there. I'll tell you what, shall I put it on? I'll put my chest mount on for this one. Here we go, let's take you on. There's go. Peter! Whee! What's he doing? I'm on the back with Mr. Lee. What? Ian, everybody! Yeah, here we go. Whee! This is it. First one. Are you ready? All we're going to see on this ride is Mr. Lee Woods with his glasses on, his necklace on. But like I say, this is the one ride I'm going to film. You're not going to see much out here, so you're going to hear the screams. Here we go. Hopefully we're not going to have too much light pollution coming from uh, Blue Stone over there. Oh no, we're all right from the Eden Project, as Lee was calling it earlier. Have you ever been to the Eden Project? Yes, I have. Have you? Yeah. Nice place, isn't it? Oh. Oh, here we go. We've got a little bit of lighting still coming over from the show at the moment as guests are leaving the park. This is it. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, we're going to fly. Get ready. First ride of many. Wow. Oh, what the hell? Oh, my God. <laughs> it's wild at night. Oh, 
Are your glasses all right? Flat. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. Says, you alright? Yeah! <laughs> I can't really see a lot. <laughs> oh yes! Oh. There we go! We're getting here some more rides on Megaphobia! So it's the morning after what was a pretty incredible night riding on Megaphobia in that extra ride session. Managed to get 13 rides last night on there and uh, yeah, it was absolutely incredible. Brilliant ERS, two trains in action and uh, yeah, it was fantastic. Uh, my original plan was to actually get a little bit of footage afterwards like around by the campfire and just sort of uh, show you a bit more of the tent and stuff. However, we were all chatting for that long last night uh, but yeah, it got really late and I thought, oh, everyone's time to go to bed. I didn't want to start vlogging around the campsite and stuff but um, you know what, it was incredible last night and we had a great one. This morning, I got woken up to the rain absolutely belting it down on the roof of my tent and I thought oh no obviously with treetops it doesn't run uh, in the rain so we got told this morning that the uh, ERS has actually moved uh, from treetops over here onto speed narrow limits which is where we are now the ERS has been going on for about 40 minutes we thought we're not going to be able to spend an hour on this but uh, Lee's just gone walking around there along with a few of the others so we're going to do a couple of rides on speed this morning and uh, I won't put any on ride footage in because there was some yesterday earlier in this vlog but uh, here we go, I'll put a little, couple of off-ride shots in for you. I think we're going to do a couple of other rides and then we'll be uh, wrapping up uh, this morning uh, here at Oakwood. Going to start making our way off. It's been fantastic, but I'm a bit tired. It was a late night last night. The good thing about this event, everybody sort of chats to each other. A real social gathering uh, that's brilliant. Uh, but yeah, we had all the rain and of course it stopped now. In fact, the sun's starting to peed through this morning, which is good. Uh, but yeah, in terms of a ride on treetops, we should have had the full hour on there for the ERS. But yeah, it was just so wet. Obviously, it all rains down on the trees, which then comes down and soaks all the track, all the uh, like kicker wheels and everything, which is understandable, safety first. So instead of that, uh, we've got speed and it doesn't look like there's many people around here. So we're going to catch up with Lee and let's go and have a little ride on here. How many laps have you had now, Lee? Three. Three. I tell you what, it's more comfortable on the back row. Yeah. <laughs> I managed two, there we are, out of an hour's ERS. I remember a few years ago, I think I did like 13 or 14 rides, but yeah, I think it's me. I don't think it's the ride that's got worse. I think it's me, but there we go. Literally, we can just keep sitting on it. <laughs> oh, I love it. But no, fair play. These ERSs we get are great. And like I say, we should have had treetops this morning. I would have probably sat on it about 30 laps like I normally do. Uh, but we got speed instead, obviously, because of the weather. But, you know, at least we got another big ride open, which is good. It's just not quite as re-rideable as the Zero Tivoli. But there you go. Speed at Oakwood. <laughs>
we've just done a few last rides to end our Welsh weekend. Uh, of course, another few laps there on Megaphobia. It really is an awesome wooden coaster. And like I've said various times throughout this video, over the past couple of days, easily my favorite wooden roller coaster in the UK. I think it's brilliant. Uh, the pacing on there, the airtime, and then nighttime rides that we get as part of the ERS are absolutely excellent. I uh, just made my way up to come to the main entrance. I mean, we never actually see this main entrance when we come in from the event uh, because we're camping. We're coming through like a security gate at the side. Uh, but yeah, this has all been painted up for this year. And obviously Nick that we've uh, been with over the weekend, he did the new audio that can be heard up here as well. Uh, there's a new soundtrack here and then in various other places throughout the park. Uh, but there we go, just thought I'd come up here to wrap up the vlog and sort of reflect on what has been an absolutely fantastic uh, three days. I mean, I came down here on Thursday. Uh, like I said, did a couple of rides, set up the tent, uh, had a good chat with everyone, nice catch up. And, uh, and then of course we went to Folly Farm, check out the vlog if you've not seen it. And then, uh, yeah, spent the day here yesterday and today doing a few more rides. It has been absolutely wonderful. And the great thing about this trip is just being able to come and see people who you don't get to see all the time. And it's been great to see the likes of Nick and Andy and uh, so many people out there. It really has been wonderful. So many channels come together, so many people come together uh, to this park in Wales. It's in the middle of nowhere. We come down here and have an absolutely fantastic weekend. It has been wonderful. It really has. And I must say, I'm a little bit tired now after three nights of camping. Uh, like I say, we normally just do the one night uh, and obviously last year me and Charlotte came down on a very very wet day we got absolutely soaked so it's been nice this time the weather's treated us a lot better um, but yeah of course we're definitely gonna be back down here next year uh, it's a brilliant event just want to say a big thanks to the European Coaster Club for arranging it all uh, and of course yeah it's brilliant so I really do recommend their events uh, the ERS is what they do here it is absolutely fantastic and also just a big thank you to everyone that's been here over the weekend like it's been really really great seeing people and a lot of people are brought together here like I say and it really is fantastic in terms of my overall highlight from the weekend uh, ride wise of course megaphobia in the dark but just in general it's just got to be seeing everyone and the whole atmosphere here at Oakwood um, you know this is a wonderful park is it somewhere that you come to for multiple days uh, no it's not it's definitely a one-day park uh, but when you come as part of this event you know we do so much and it's more laid back more chilled out uh, you know yesterday we could have done like maybe 50 rides here uh, if we wanted to in the 12 hours but we didn't you know we took it nice and chilled and these vlogs every year from here it's quite relaxed quite chilled out we go back to the camp for a bit and there's a lot off camera here as well you know in terms of just chilling out having a drink and just enjoying the atmosphere of being out in the beautiful Welsh countryside uh, but there you go thank you very much for joining me for another vlog here on theme park worldwide and everyone we've literally just all uh, over there now just saying bye I'm gonna head back over we just packed all the tents up and everything uh, and it has been wonderful I thought I'd just come over here and just reflect on what has been a wonderful weekend so thanks to everyone for watching thanks to everyone who's come along for this wonderful weekend and also the European Coast Club as well I'm Sean Sandbrook thank you very much for watching theme park worldwide and that means it's time to cue those credits see you next year Welsh weekender we'll be